Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsnet News. I'm Joe Boric, fan on fans, and we got our point streak to eight games without the captain, Cal O'Reilly, Isaac Ratcliffe, and Maxime Shusko, who were all playing very well, some really, really well. Um, that all went out due to COVID protocols before the game, forcing Mason Millman, who was one of our better rookie defensemen and one of our solid defensemen last year overall, to play forward, and Ryan McKinnon, who's a career ECHL and AHL defenseman, to play forward as well. And the Phantoms battled. They did their thing. Uh, Pat Nagel <clears throat> did not have his beautiful performance, having a turnover on the actual Johnson Fialbi goal, who seems to always kick our butt, and so does Joe Snively, who of course kicked our butt again. Um, tonight, or, or last night, excuse me, but, um, this was just a great game of perseverance and fight and scratch and claw that we've seen of late from this Lehigh Valley Phantom. Uh, I was on, uh, check out also later today, the Hockey Writers Inc., where we talk about the Flyers and what me, Lance, and Steele think, he from the owner's perspective, Lance from the GM, me as the assistant GM, what we would do with the team moving forward, but, um, we didn't get to go into the Phantoms much in that one, but just check that out um, if you want to get into some Flyers news. But the Phantoms, they battled in this one, and Big Z, who is now caught up, was the game-tying goal. Mr. Clutch on the great point shot, wrist shot. Big Z is now caught up to the taxi squad today due to Travis Sanheim and Travis Konechny. Both Travis's, unfortunately, being on COVID protocol up there. But Big Z was able to get it done last night. I thought played a solid overall game. He's been playing better and better and better as time goes on. You can tell he's getting more comfortable to North American hockey and more comfortable to pro hockey. And it looks like he's set to make his debut tonight as long as the game stays on track. That's why they put the taxi squads in place to keep playing. Fortunately for the Flyers, they're killed by it, and the Penguins only have Drew O'Connor on it. But I'll get into that in my preview. But let the overall game, unfortunately, the Phantoms in the first period... Uh, Yes, I was with some some of the fans that were saying, yeah, like I said it on Twitter myself, it wasn't a good overall first period. Then when I put it in perspective, though, we had nine forwards, and we still were only down 2 nothing after the first period. So all things considered, it wasn't terrible. Um, And uh, then Snively um, was able to get it from Pilon on a nice pass um, for him cutting. Uh, Nagel had no shot. That was what the first goal was, just to give you a description for people that did not see. And then Gershitz was able to score on a rebound five minutes in. Probably could have done a little bit better on rebound control and blocking out the net. Again, this wasn't the squeakiest game for Pat Nagel when he actually played on the 21st of December very well and he allowed one goal against Hershey in that win against the Hershey Bears. This was not a good repeat of form for guys that are going to play the puck to get back to the later mistake for the third goal, which is the next one to recap, as he ended up trying to play it up the ice. It went off of Cooper Zek through his legs, and then Axel Johnson Fjolby had the easiest goal he was able to get in his career. Uh, unfortunately, that type of stuff happens. The Phantoms did have a very nice play, though, where Ruby was able to chip it behind the net to Matthew Strom. Matthew Strom was able to then get the pass on a perfect pass in front of the net to line is Sandin, and Sandin was finally able to pot his, since he's been one of the guys... Obviously, he's been banged up a bit, but hasn't got the most fortunate puck luck either. And Sandheim's able to, or not Sandheim, Sandine's able to pot his uh, to put it in. And then, of course, in the third period, uh, that was a nice job staying with it by Connor Bunneman. His initial shot got blocked. He was able to stay with it, get it over to Charlie Gerard, who's been playing very well, the speedster, uh, adding a lot of speed and energy into the lineup, almost like a minor league Tyler Pitlick. And uh, he's able to get the goal there. Unfortunately, in OT, though, Pat Nagel had another uh, mishap. There was actually a nice play. I can't remember who made it, but it was a diving play. I think it was made by Glenn Denning. And the puck ended up being nicely uh, muted and kind of softened where Nagel should have been able to cover it with his glove. But when he put his glove on it, it almost rolled under it, so uh, it looked like. And then Snively was able to get it. Another Phantoms killer, Joe Snively. Actually, Andre Vialbe obviously being a rival, uh, just like the Penguins do at the NHL level. The Hershey Bears have a lot of uh, rival killers to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, where hopefully Big Z and certain guys for the Royal or not for the Royals, uh, I, I cover all three, for the Phantoms uh, do well and continue to be Bears killers. We thought in the first game maybe Nagel was going to become like the anterior Nanamaki of the Thrashers to the Bears. Obviously, that wasn't so to speak. He didn't have a good second game against the Hershey Bears. So hopefully, if he gets another chance against the Bears this season, he's able to bounce back. But my biggest takeaway from this game is hands down what I'm titling the video. Great job fighting to OT to extend the point streak. 
um, that that's my biggest takeaway because you were nine forwards only. You had two defensemen playing forward, and you were still able to find a way down three nothing against one of the better teams in the AHL. They're not the squeakiest clean as efficient as like say the Utica Comets or Stockton or teams like that, where the Hershey Bears we've seen be better in past years, but they're still a very good team. And you battled all the way back against them to get the big goal by Big Z, the new Big Z in town, Igor Zamula. And uh, he was able to tie it up on the point shot. Wrist shot, unfortunately, though, in overtime, a sloppy a mistake by Pat Nagel leads to the winning goal. But, I, I, I mean, Nagel's the all-time winning this current ECHL goaltender, the fifth all-time. I think he's going to bounce back. He's been in tough spots in his career coming off of bad games before. And he's bounced back multitudes of times in his professional career. So I think he will. He had some great games this far for the Phantoms. And some not so good games. So let's see what he's able to do next till uh, he's in, assuming he gets the nod and not somebody like Felix Sandstrom. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please continue to subscribe down below. Great job getting to OT by the Phantoms to even get points out of that game, being so shorthanded. When the Bears were pretty full, their team, they did not have really much out at all. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.